The documentary Blackfish traces the history of killer whales in captivity, culminating in a 2010 incident in which a 12,000-pound orca killed a trainer at SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida. Director Gabriella Copperthwaite documents how such incidents can happen when these massive animals are held against their will. Studies have shown that the giant marine mammals have human-like self-awareness and ability to communicate and organize complex societies, making them similar to some great apes. And so in my mind, a killer whale, a scary, intelligent animal, why would it bite the hand that feeds it? So I kind of went in trying to investigate that question as a mother who took her kids to SeaWorld, as someone who didn't come from animal activism. I just wanted to investigate that incident. and. Um, that, you know, peeling back the onion from that incident is sort of what led to making this movie. Blackfish follows the orca involved in the incident from the age of two when he was kidnapped from his mother in the North Atlantic and severely mistreated throughout his adult life by park officials and other killer whales. SeaWorld has released a statement accusing the film of painting a distorted picture of its facility, calling it inaccurate and misleading. Blackfish hits limited U.S. theaters in July.